Hello there everybody, I'm Daryl Griffiths. Welcome to my latest video of film review. I hope you've all been very well. Today I'll be tackling a film that I can't really iterate enough the importance of it. It is Ken Loach's I, Daniel Blake. It is out on Friday the 21st of October and Loach has always been a staunch social realist of British cinema and He's so beautifully observed and sometimes brutally so in what in the subject matters that he deals with. This film is an incisive and infuriating look at the benefit system in this country. Before I possibly go into a rant, I am going to tackle the narrative first. Dave Johns plays the title character Daniel Blake. It is a middle aged man who has just suffered a severe heart attack and recuperating and he used to be in carpentry and he's struggling to find paid work and he's such a hearty passionate tenacious character that you can't help but root for and he bonds with Hayley Squires Casey who is a single mother moved up from London uh, into the northeast and struggling to acclimatize with the tough work tough living conditions uh, that she's having to put up with with her two adorable children and they bond instantly over their respective plights uh, but Daniel is far from IT literate uh, of course in a digital world and everything being online and in job searches and uploading CVs and that kind of thing he's dealing with job seeker advisors and the workshops and trying to just get his hands on any paid work that he possibly can and that is the crux of the film I know it doesn't seem too excitable and it's very hard hitting but I can't stress just how astonishing I Daniel Blake is it really does tap into a lot of pain a lot of frustration that I think the country as a whole has and from a personal standpoint, I used to have to seek JSA, and I'm sure most of you guys may have been in the position at one time or another. Um, in my case, it was three months straight out of uni, uh, got a seasonal colleague job, they weren't able to keep me on, and then I was on again for about six months, and it was the worst time. Uh, mentally, I was all over the place, and I think people take for granted just how much of an effect this can have on people and there's such an argument about mental health in this country and that there's not fair coverage and there's not enough money being poured into it but in such a state uh, that the country is in it is so broken the benefit system is as convoluted as they come sure there are people that are more than happy to just sit on their arse and arguably and the more usually the more vocal people and they'll stress oh they'll play the immigrants card or you know they just don't want to work and but when you see people like friends that have struggled with this and i'm certain so i'm know for a fact i'm sure i'm not alone in this and you see friends struggle day in day out with such passion and enthusiasm to just work and do what they want to do and I was shaking my head so much during the film because this is what this country has come to and what I'm sorry the Tory government have provided over the last decade and so many wonderful talents people in general suffering day in day out it is such a frustrating thing to witness especially on a cinematic level because this really does drive it home in such a heart-wrenching way and Dave John's performance is just astonishing he you just he's such a wonderful character and he's so heartfelt and punchy with anything that he says and he just really is one of us he represents so much of what this country has had to go through in the last decade or so uh, and Hayley Squire's Katie, she's fantastic as well. There is one particular sequence in a food bank which will just break your heart. And you see, I mean, the whole rhetoric, the single mothers, you know, they're just 
they just sleep around perhaps and they're just having kids left right and center but it can't be as narrow-minded as that every situation is different and i think Hayley squire's character really does represent that in such a beautifully nuanced and effective way loach's direction as you would expect is rigid it's beautifully observant and brutally so at times and with his inane questioning from job seeker advisors and and they almost speak it's such a in such a robotic tone i think that's the only way i can put it down the phone where you're trying to deal with your issues and and your claims etc and they're just so inane and they stick to the script and it's so frustrating and the waiting times and everything it's just so all-encompassing uh, as a film of what it deals with and by the end i mean i was just genuinely i wept and shaking my head constantly it's quite ironic that i think multiplexes don't seem to be taking a chance on this film um from looking at local showtimes near myself but if i daniel blake is showing near you i can't stress it enough watch this film it is fantastic it is a triumphant, albeit heart-wrenching look at a broken system and a convoluted system. And it just, there needs to be drastic change. And I hope that something like this, I mean, we always talk about the power of the arts. And I mean, in a climate where you feel like everything's being chopped to pieces in terms of funding and all that kind of thing. I really hope that this film gets the broad audience that it demands and deserves. Ken Loach, I can only salute you for this. It is a fantastic piece of work and it's hard hitting, it's heartfelt, it will infuriate you, I can ensure you. Um, but that is a wrap on my review before I get even more pent up with emotion. I, I just pledge and urge you to see I, Daniel Blake. That is a review. That is my review of the film done. Sorry for waffling and sorry for getting so emotionally caught up in the film. But that's the effect it had on me. And I sincerely hope you do get the opportunity to see it. Um, this review will go up on We Make Movies on Weekends. Uh, so be sure to check out the site at www.wemakemoviesonweekends.com and like our Facebook page and our Twitter page and follow us there. Um, but that is a wrap for now. I've been Daryl Griffiths. Sorry for being quite passionate and open about the subject uh, that the film deals with, but it really needed to be said on this uh, occasion. Um, but that is a wrap. I've been Daryl Griffiths. I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.